Hello everyone, welcome in. And in this video, we'll take a look at creating a honeypot. Uh, specifically, we'll make a, an SSH honeypot, but I just wanted to let you know that there's a ton of different types of honeypots out there. And there's a really great GitHub repository with just a list of them. So it's called Awesome Honeypots, and we've got a honeypot for basically anything you can imagine. Uh, what we're going to use, again, it, I think I mentioned, is an SSH honeypot, and we will have to compile it, but it's pretty straightforward, the actual process of setting it up. So let's dive in. This is the honeypot we're going to use. It's almost a decade old, but it works just fine and we will, uh, let's get started. So first off, I've already spun up a server here. So this is the server we're going to use for our SSH honeypot. And let's jump into Parrot. And I just want to, first off, connect up to it. So I'm gonna say SSH, uh, let's see, dash I, I'm going to use my ID, uh, ED25519, and we are going to SSH into the root account. I apologize that you can't see this. Let's see, how can I arrange this properly? Maybe like so. Yeah, so we are going to SSH into uh, 144.126.209.116. Uh, and we will say yes, as far as the fingerprint is concerned. And now I can actually make this full screen because we're logged in. So first thing we have to do is apt update and just kind of get a list of the currently available packages. And for this particular honeypot, there's a few things that we have to do. So once it's done with its you know updating, we need to install libssh-dev because this relies on that particular library for compilation. Uh, the next thing we have to do is change the SSH port because we want to have our SSH honeypot on port 22. So we should change the actual port that we're using to connect up to this virtual server uh, so that you know, we can connect up to it separately from the honeypot, which will actually be attached to port 22. So once this finishes with its triggers and whatnot, we will change the SSH configuration We'll go ahead and grab the repository from GitHub using Git clone. We'll configure it, we will compile it, and then we'll see kind of what happens. So come on, you know, take your time, it's all right. So let's actually open up a new terminal. I'll make it a little bit larger. And we might be able to still see. No, we can't see that, unfortunately. All right. Come on, scroll all the way down. OK, it looks like uh, we don't need to. I was trying to multitask, or I was considering multitasking with multiple SSH connections. But we have now successfully installed libssh dev. Uh, so we need to change the SSH port. So what I'm gonna use to do that is V, we'll say V slash Etsy slash SSH, SSHD underscore config. And we're going to change the port. Let's change it to port 2244. And we're gonna save it. And then let's restart the SSH service so that it uh, adopts these uh, configuration changes, the change in port. So we'll say systemctl reload sshd, great. And now if we tried to connect up to it again, it's not going to work because we are no longer listening on port 22. We are going to listen on port 2244. Awesome. So we'll clear the screen. And then what I need to do is clone this repository here. So it's at peepmo slash ssh pot. And you can actually see the full link here. So it's just a .git. So hopefully I'll be able to, to remember that. Let's do this. Uh, jump over into Parrot. We're gonna say git clone HTTPS uh, github.com slash peatmo slash ssh pot dot git. All right. And we now have this, uh, this directory containing ssh pot. And we are going to go into it and ls here 
And what one thing we have to do is modify the configuration file. So we'll say v config.h. And there's a few things that we might want to specify here. It's already listing on port 22, so that's fine. But let's actually specify the key. So we're going to say in this current directory, we want to use honeypot. We'll just call that, you know, we'll just call the key honeypot. And we will write and quit. And then we want to generate an RSK, an RSA key pair. So we'll say SSH dash key gen TRSA, and we'll use 2048 bits. Uh, I believe we might need to use the dash B flag. And what we're going to save it into our key pair is slash root slash SSH pot slash, what do we call it? Honeypot? I think we called it honeypot. And we are not going to use a password of any sort. So now when we ls, we've got honeypot and we've got honeypot.pub. And once again, we'll just cat out config.h just to make sure that everything looks proper and it does so what we can do now is we can make i think we can make let's let's try it out so you can run make so make cannot be found so let's do an apt install build essential So you might need to install the tools necessary to compile and make these applications. And it looks like uh, that's something that I neglected to do for this particular virtual server. So apt install build essential apt install lib ssh dash dev. And I think that's all we'll need actually for this. So let's try make again. And it does throw out some warnings, but I believe it compiled. So if we do an LS, yeah, we've got SSH pot right here. This is our binary and we can run. We can run it, right? So <laughs> we will. And let me quickly, uh, let me quickly make sure that there's no additional syntax that we have to use, but I believe that's basically it for this uh, utility. Yeah, so we can specify the port manually if we want to. So we can say port 22, but that's about all we need to do. And I'll press enter and now it's running and maybe I'll do control Z. Well, it looks like it stopped, unfortunately. Um, let's do foreground. Okay. So it's running. Uh, I'm going to do, Hmm. Control Z should, it says it's stopped though. So what I'll do is control C I'll close out of it and then we'll run it, but we're going to use the ampersand and that's just going to throw it in the background. And then we have, if we do an LS, uh, we've got, this is our current, the current contents of our directory. Uh, but what we should be able to do potentially is actually SSHN. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I've got my Mac over here. So I'm going to SSH into this new, uh, this new virtual server that we made. And we'll see kind of if anything comes up. So let's see, control C, SSH root at this. Yes. All right, now if we do an LS, now we've got this SSH pot underscore auth dot log and we can kind of cat that out and we can see, all right, I'm trying to log in as root and the password is QWD QWD. Uh, but what we can maybe do is tail dash F SSH pot underscore off dot log. And now it's going to kind of watch that file. So let me try this. Hello security plus students. We're trying to log in as root with the password. Hello security plus students. And then we'll just kind of finish this out with some nonsense. TH, 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 TH. And you can see here, well, it's pretty straightforward, right? All this uh, particular honeypot is doing, it's listening on port 22. When people try to log in with a username and password, uh, it will save the username and the password that they attempt to log in with to this file. And using tail F, we can watch the file kind of in real time and see, uh, kind of see what happens, see what people try to authenticate with. 
So what I think I'll do is I will go have lunch and maybe take a nap and come back and we'll see if any additional uh, authentication attempts occur, right? Just from the internet background radiation of bots scanning for SSH uh, services and trying to authenticate. So let's pause here and we'll come back in a bit and see if anything pops up. All right, welcome back everyone. Just to uh, show you, we did actually get a few hits from some bot on the internet that was trying to uh, log in here. So you can see, I actually had to restart this because uh, we had some issues with stability of the system. But you can see here in the log entry, we have a few login attempts like root guest, root one, two, three, four, five, six, root one, two, three, four, you know, root test, root uh, T-O-O-R, which is just root spelled backwards, QWERTY, PF sense, and so on and so forth. So something was trying to log into this SSH honeypot and we might be able to see a bit more if we do SSH, we do less, <laughs> SSH pot uh, underscore auth.log. And yeah, not too much more actually, not too much has happened. You can see here, these were the login attempts that we demonstrated. And these were the login attempts that just came in off of the internet. Uh, so cool, cool. This is just one example of honey of a honeypot uh, specifically for SSH, but you can imagine there's plenty of other options out there for all your honeypotting needs. And yeah, it doesn't look like we've got any more. So I'm actually gonna tear down the server because I don't wanna pay for it. And I'll see you in the next video.